disregard the law? Democrats assert that it is required under the Texas abortion pill verdict. The Biden administration has hurriedly filed an appeal in response to a Texas judge's decision that could postpone the nationwide clearance of abortion pills and threaten access to the most popular method of miscarriage termination. Democrats contend that's insufficient. The FDA's two-decade-old approval of the drug Mifepristone is unlawful and should be thrown out, according to the judge appointed by former President Donald Trump. However, the decision won't take effect for a week to give the administration time to request an emergency stay from higher courts. Senators, congressmen, state officials, and advocacy organizations are now pleading with President Joe Biden to disobey the U.S. District Court judge and utilize his executive authority to preserve the availability of the drugs even before the case is considered by the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which leans conservative. Senator Ron Wyden, D. Orr, said on Friday, I believe the Food and Drug Administration has the ability to reject this verdict, which is why I'm again calling on President Biden and the FDA to do just that. The FDA, physicians, and pharmacies may and must carry on with their daily operations as if nothing has changed in order to continue providing mifepristone to women in America. If they don't, every state's restriction on the most popular kind of abortion will have disastrous effects. In a CNN interview on Friday, Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, DNY, endorsed Wyden's demand, saying that the White House should ignore the court's judgment because of its deeply partisan and unfounded nature. The Biden administration, however, is concerned that any public disobedience of the Friday night decision may harm its standing as the case proceeds through the appeals process. According to a person who is advising the White House on legal strategy and was given anonymity to discuss the ongoing litigation, administration officials believe Wyden's proposal would be premature and pretty risky given the possibility that a higher court could overturn Judge Matthew Kaczmarek's ruling from the Texas U.S. District Court. The individual stated, they're able to present themselves right now as the adults in the room who care about the rule of law. But if they rushed the gun and indicated they wouldn't follow the verdict, that stance would face pressure. The individual continued by saying that the White House sees little point in publicly rejecting the court's decision at this time for three reasons. First of all, disobeying a lower court decision that revoked the FDA's approval of the drugs wouldn't prevent states under GOP control from enacting their own regulations and penalizing individuals who break them. Second, a future Republican president might decide to overturn any enforcement discretionary decisions and pursue individuals who sell or prescribe the medications vigorously. Third, even in the short run, doctors across the nation may become reluctant to provide medication as a result of the president disregarding the court. The individual declared that the proposal was a very, very flimsy band aid that wouldn't actually ensure access to medication abortion. And it's a pretty risky strategy when you have another option on the table like the appeals process, the author continued. In addition, the medications can still be legally administered in most of the country, the individual claimed, lessening the necessity to take such severe step because the Texas judge delayed his decision for one week to give the Biden administration time to appeal. On a call with reporters on Saturday, Senator Patty Murray, Democrat Washington, said that while she sympathizes with Wyden's viewpoint, she does not support any measures that may endanger the administration's efforts to challenge the district court's decision. She stated, I understand the sentiment, since this is a really frustrating position. The facts, science, or law had nothing to do with this atrocious choice. But right now, the most important thing is to make sure that this judgment is swiftly appealed and overturned in court. Murray and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer made their intentions known on Saturday. They argued that restoring Roe v. Wade through legislation rather than the temporary protections the Biden administration could provide through executive actions would be the best way to mobilize their base for the 2024 elections. From now until we advance in 2024, this battle will be fought with public opinion and with our votes at the polls, Murray added. Democrats, according to Schumer, will compel Senate votes in the upcoming months that put Republicans on the record over the matter. According to Schumer, the American people will see for themselves the stark contrast between Democrats who are relentlessly fighting for women's rights, to make decisions about their own bodies, and MAGA Republicans who will stop at virtually nothing to enact a national abortion ban with no exceptions. In the hours following the decision, Biden appeared to support this tactic by declaring in a statement that, while the government was appealing the case, the only way to stop those who are committed to taking away women's rights and freedoms in every state is to elect a Congress who will pass a law restoring Roe v. Wade. Given the current legal challenges to the pills, even those abortion rights leaders who have previously criticized the Biden administration for not doing enough to maintain access favor the wait-and-see approach. They definitely have a tendency to be cautious, said Mini Timuraju, president of Naral, to Politico. 
but they should be, given the stakes and the courts involved. The defendant is them. We want them to exercise caution. Additionally, it has helped them in the past. I am therefore sure that the administration is taking the necessary action. Legal experts are also urging the government not to disobey the ruling at this early stage of the procedure since doing so may set a precedent that would allow future presidents to disregard future orders that would be more firmly rooted in the law. Even if they think it's incorrect, the FDA shouldn't ignore a court order, according to Joanne Rosen, an attorney and senior lecturer at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. They might have merit. To put mifepristone back on the market, the approval procedure may be started over once more. Others in the legal profession, however, are advising the administration to take a tough stance, claiming that the FDA has been given enforcement authority by Congress in prior court decisions and that the agency should utilize those to the maximum degree if it is finally required to revoke its approval of abortion pills. Those who support this position are citing a Friday night court decision from Washington state that ordered the FDA to retain the status quo for abortion medicines and barred the agency from restricting access in the dozen blue states who filed the lawsuit. According to them, if the Texas court's decision is upheld, the conflicting rulings give the Biden administration permission to continue maintaining access to the medications. Professor David S. Cohen of the Thomas R. Klein School of Law at Drexel University stated, These are not extreme. These are legitimate, legal tactics. Other Senate Democrats have urged the Biden administration to use every legal and regulatory tool in its power to maintain the availability of abortion pills in light of this verdict. In a recent petition to the White House, Senators Maisie Hirono, Democrat Hawaii, and Elizabeth Warren, Democrat Massachusetts, requested that the administration employ any existing authorities, such as enforcement discretion, to allow mifepristone to remain available. They stated that the FDA has utilized its authority to protect patients' access to treatment in the past and may do so again. Timuraju finds the growing pressure from Democratic leaders to disregard the court's decision to be significant, even if it doesn't eventually spur the Biden administration to take drastic action. She asserted that the senators are doing their jobs, it is their duty to press the White House and organizations like the FDA. We need lawmakers from blue states to go out and bring this matter to the public's attention and spread awareness. The most important thing for people to comprehend, in our opinion, is that no state is immune to these strategies.